Hi, my name is Leah with Sandpaper and Wax Design, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a resin bowl. Look at these with Amy Howard's um, resin, Glacier Resin product. So, for this project, you are going to need the Glacier Resin. You will need uh, pigments of your choice. Today, I'm using light blue alcohol ink, peacock blue liquid pigment, sky blue, blue, white, green, sapphire, and then the white alcohol ink. You will need um, Strasbourg white pigment powder if you're going to make your white more opaque. And I'm going to add a little bit of her mica powder diamond dust. Um, you'll need a resin pour to mix the big batch and small little cups to mix your colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some glass, broken glass, and you're gonna need a bowl to coat that and mix it up. Also, you will need some popsicle sticks to mix up all your resins. And you will also use, um, I use wax paper, and then under it to protect my counter, I'm using a plastic um, sheet and then a thicker, like a cardboard plastic sheet. And then here I created, I put a vase together with another vase and then a, this piece to go ahead and make that flat bottom so your bowl will sit. You'll also need a heat gun and toothpicks to move your resin around in your piece. So we'll go ahead and get started. So you're going to go ahead and mix the AB resin. You're going to mix equal parts. And for this bowl, you're only going to use a half cup of each. So once you get that all poured in um, and mixed up, I went ahead and created four different resin colors. So I wanted contrasting blues. I went from a dark to a medium, to a light, and then the white for the ocean waves. Um, so you can, once you get that main pot all mixed up together and stirred for about two minutes to make sure everything is really perfectly stirred through, all the swirls will disappear. Um, you'll start to see um, the, that the, just the appearance of the resin actually change a little bit. So go ahead and you're going to mix that up. Then you're going to portion out into your cups, uh, portions of the resin for each color, each color you're going to use anywhere from three to four drops. It's just really depending on how much color you want. So I started with a blue, really a darker blue starting with the ocean and then I moved into a lighter blue which is that sky blue and here I mixed the sapphire with the green to make a really pretty turquoise so that gradual change and you can play with your colors um, here I used white uh, the, the white pigment with the Strasbourg uh, white pigment powder to make that more white opacity color and then I'm just adding in a little bit of a light blue to go ahead and give a little bit of accenting color you can play with your colors mix and match you don't want to add too much pigment again you know three four drops but and here now I'm adding alcohol ink the alcohol ink is really neat because it evaporates but still leaves the pigment and you'll move it around using your heat gun. You can also use a blow dryer, which has a little more force, but because I'm working on a small surface area, I don't want to push it too much. Remember, we're working on a flat surface. If you want, you can tape the corners up if it starts to kind of move beyond um, the area you're working in. You have control. The more heat you add, the more uh, harder it will become. So I'm, I'm adding in some white resin here to make some crusting waves. And again, more alcohol ink. Now, if you're gonna add glass, 
you're gonna wait till it tacks up a little bit, but always, if you're placing anything in a resin pour, you need to make sure you coat whatever you're placing into, um, into some uh, pre-mixed resin that we already made. You can mix it in with the glass or the shells or sand or whatever you're gonna use. Just make sure you've added so it'll adhere correctly and it still will be coated and it won't pop off once your resin piece is dried. So here I'm using a skewer to maneuver and manipulate. And now I'm adding in diamond dust to add a little bit of sparkle to the waves. And just moving all the resin and the pigments around for my design. Now when you place glass or um, any shells a little bit heavier you want to wait till your resin has come slightly to tack because otherwise if you place too quickly after you've already poured it it will go ahead and sink to the bottom um, lighter pieces like gold leaf or other items you want to try they won't sink so this this was poured to and this is now two and a half hours later where it's come really to tack at this point and it's maneuverable. I picked it up, placed it over the vase and then manipulated the wax paper to whatever shape I want. As you can see, I've already added the glass in and now I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I had the glass sitting in, in resin and I'm just adding more for that really, that those pieces that come and kind of sag down now, don't be alarmed when that glass that you've already embedded will start to slide down. That's part of it. So sometimes I add a little bit extra glass because I know some of it might fall off during the drying process. But before you put that on the vase, make sure it's pretty tacky. It's not moving around. That when you do put it upside down like that, it's just not gonna slop right off. So this for me was about two and a half, three hours later. So you can test it by with your glove, wearing gloves, test it and see where the tackness is. Once you've added all your shells, you just kind of manipulate the paper, add whatever little pieces you'd like to add in. You want to use the resin that you've already made earlier because it's tacky too. So don't add once beyond, once that resin dries, don't add anything else beyond that. And don't worry about things sliding off. We can always, we'll fix it up once it's dried. So now this is the next day. I remove the wax paper. It'll literally just pop right out. And I will move that all out. So you see some stringy pieces of the resin. I use a razor blade and I'll cut it back to go ahead and make that final piece. Super simple project that you can do. Thanks again for joining me.